Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to be showing you some toddler Father's Day crafts. Uh, so I have two toddlers. I have Leo who's just turned one and I have Alice who is two and they both really enjoyed doing these crafts. Um, obviously they needed to be supervised while doing it and they needed a bit of help but they really enjoyed doing them. So we're going to be making some Father's Day cards. We'll make a nice Father's Day picture. So we're also going to be making a plaque of their handprint and footprint. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so for our first craft we're going to be making a Father's Day card. And for this card you'll need the following things. Okay, so you're going to need a paint palette to put your paints in. You're going to need a foam brush to paint the child's hand and foot. You'll need some blue, red and pink paint. You'll need some Sharpie markers or any kind of pens to write the little saying on the card. You'll need a small paint brush to do the like eyes and mouth on your person. And you'll also need a sponge brush, brush for the face. And a piece, you'll also need a piece of white card. Okay, so for the second Father's Day card we're going to make, we're going to make a little monster um, card. So these are the things you'll need for this. So again, we're going to be doing a handprint or footprint of the child. So you'll need uh, a paint palette. You'll need a foam brush or a large paint brush. We've got some glitter, some PVA glue, some paint, some pens for the writing on the card a brush for your glue and some googly eyes and of course for both these projects you will need some card to obviously do your prints on so I'm going to do it on white card but you could do it on any colour card just your um, colours will show up better on white card ok so I've got the little man here sitting here so we're going to try and paint his foot let's move up a little bit Leah here he is, right. Let's use one of these foam brushes and I'm going to try and do his foot. We'll see what happens. So this is what it looks like. It's not great, but we're going to fix it up and make it look really good, aren't we? Yeah. And here's his other one. And then we've also got this one, which we're going to turn into a little monster. Okay, so this is Alice's handprint, which we're going to turn into a little monster. We're going to put some googly eyes on it, and then we're going to write a little message on it for Daddy. And this is her handprint and footprint. Handprint didn't come out too well on this, but we're going to draw a little head on it and a little face, so it's going to be Daddy as a Superman. So we just need to finish that off. I think I'll do the rest of it, because I think they're both a bit tired now. If they get a bit more awake, then I'll let them help sit the eyes on. But yeah, that's how it turned out. So we're going to make this into a little monster. So should we put some little eyes on it? Yeah. All right. So what we need, we're going to put a little bit of glue in this one. Okay. So a little bit of glue. Okay. So a little bit of glue. Just a little bit. Okay, and then we need to pick out two little eyes for him. We make a little monster. Okay, so we're going to do this one's yours and that one's Leo. So we need two eyes for yours, don't we? We're going to put a little eyes there, look. Right there, we're going to make like a little monster. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm going to put little eyes on Leo's as well. Okay, so that's it. We only need them ones. So we need to get our little brush. Put a little bit of glue. And put a little bit of glue on the eye. There we go. Oh, stick! On. Now we just have to wait for it to dry, don't we? So, shall we do this one now? So for this one, Alice, this is your card for Daddy's Play. So for this one, we need to do a head, don't we? So, we need some of this paint. Okay, so where should we put it? Uh, let's put it here. And then, this is what we're going to do to get the head. We're going to get this little sponge. I go blip, 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 blip on the sponge. So make sure it's covered the whole sponge. So look at that paint on the sponge. So this is going to make the head. So we're just going to go pss, push. And look, it's got a little head. Can you see? And then we're going to draw the face. So let's just put that one there because we need to do a head on these ones too. So you're going to help with me. Hold it. And we're going to go. Swoosh. Yay! Look! We made a little head. Good girl. Right, going to do one more. Need one more little head on this one, don't we? So you hold it. Don't hold it. You hold it. We're going to do one more head, so we need to do. Girl, you made a little head. Oh, there we go. So the next thing is he needs he needs a little hand. So how should we make his little hand? I'll tell you what, this one is yours. So to make his little hand, should we use your little finger? So shall we get a little bit of paint on Alice's finger? Paint on your finger, and then we can get your little finger. We're gonna go. Oh, and then he's got a little hand. Look, isn't that good? Little hand. Yeah, get that done. Yeah. He's got a little hand now, hasn't yeah. he? We used your finger to make a little hand, yeah. and then since Leo's asleep, should we use your little finger to make a little hand on Leo's picture? Ready? Use your little finger. We're gonna go. Put it straight. Straight. There we go, he's got a little hand. 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 And then we're going to make his little hand here. Ready? Bloop, bloop, bloop. He needs a little hand. There we go, he's got a little hand. Um. Yeah. He did very good, didn't he? Yeah. Now he's got a head and hand. Now we need some hair. Yeah. He needs some hair, doesn't he? Yeah. Wow. yeah. And he needs a mouth, you're right Alice. Yeah, a mouth. He needs a mouth, but we're going to wait for his face to dry yeah, before we do his mouth. Yeah, mouth. Yeah, he does need a mouth, you're right. A little bit of black for his hair. We're just going to go. Ooh. And now he's got some hair.
Okay, so these are the finished cards. This one is Alice's. This is her little handprint. We've turned into a little monster. And then we've just wrote Happy Father's Day from your little monster. I stupidly didn't leave a space between father, fathers and day. And both of them. I don't know what I was thinking. And then this is Leo's little monster from his footprint. He's really cute. And then this is uh, Leo's super daddy made from his footprint and handprint. And then this is Alice's super daddy made from her footprint and handprint. So Alice did the faces. She used her... We used this little sponge to make the face for daddy. And then the little hand was Alice's fingerprint. So she did hers on Leo's as well because Leo was, was asleep. So she did the little fingerprint hand on both of them and she did the faces. And... Alice helped mummy glue the eyes on and we did the little uh, glittery palms didn't we? So yeah I think they've turned out really nice and they're really simple easy father day crafts for toddlers to do. Okay for this next father's day DIY you'll need some card, marker pen, some scissors, some uh, transfer paper or I think they call it contact paper and some paints. Okay so for this DIY the first thing we need to do is write out the word daddy on this paper and um, you want to make sure that all the letters are joined together so that when you peel off the sticker it's going to be in one one sticker rather than separate stickers it just makes it easier at the end when you want to pull it off you don't have to pull off lots of little stickers so i'm just going to write the word daddy so you want to make sure that it's big enough for your paper so it's about the same width as this so i think i'm going to do it one two three five squares down okay so i'm just going to use a sharpie you can use a pencil, I suppose, anything that will show up on it. So I'm just going to cut that out now.
Okay, so once you've got your letter in, all cut out, then you need to stick it onto your piece of card. So you just need to pull the backing off. Sorry for all the noise in the background. My toddlers are playing before they do their painting. Okay, so it looks like that once you've pulled it off and then just stick it around the center. It's not straight, but it really doesn't matter. So you don't want to stick it too down too hard or it, it might rip the paper when you pull it off, but you also don't want it too loose either because you don't want the paint to go through. So that's what it looks like once you've got it stuck on. So the next step is to get your toddler to just paint over the whole page. And once you've done that, you then peel the sticker off and it'll just say daddy underneath. So I'm going to get my toddlers ready and they're going to do some painting. Okay, so the paintings have dried now, so now we're going to pull off the sticker and hopefully it should leave Daddy in white. So yeah, let's pull it off now and see what they look like. Okay, let's, let's take this one off. So there is, this one's Leo's I think, this is Leo's, so yeah a little bit of paint leaked through there but yeah it turned out pretty well, I'm sure Lauren will love that one as well. Okay, so today we're going to be making a Father's Day gift. We're going to be making a little hand and footprint plaque. So we're going to use some air drying clay. Um, also for this you'll need a rolling pin, a straw, a knife and a bowl to cut round. So I'm going to get my toddler to help me sort of see how this goes today. So let's see, how do we open this? I'm going to roll it. Roll, roll. Do you want to do some roll? Oh, so I've had this for quite a while, so it's a bit, it's a bit hard to work. Okay, so once we've got it rolled out, I'm going to put the bowl on and cut out the shape we want. So. Okay, now I just need to try and get her to do a hand press. So you put one hand there. We go press, 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 press hard, Alice. Press, 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 press. Oh, beautiful! Look. Should we do another one? Put your hand straight like that. We go press, 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 press really hard. That's it. So Alice has done her pressing in. So once you've done that, you just need to put two holes in it to put your ribbon through, using this. So now I just have to leave it to dry. Right. 
there it is we're going to leave that to dry overnight and then we'll see what happens and maybe we can paint it but I'm just going to write her name at the bottom as well okay so this is Alice's clay plaque uh, it's all dried out now it's rock hard so I'm now going to paint it so to paint it I'm just going to use some acrylic paints and then I'm going to seal it with some Mod Podge Okay, so here is the plaque. It's been all painted and it's dried now. So now I'm going to put the Mod Podge on it just to seal it all. Okay, so it's got a thin layer of Mod Podge on it now just to seal the paint. And now I've just got to wait for the Mod Podge to dry. And then once that's dry, I can add the ribbon and it's done. If you want to, you can sand down the uh, this bit so it's smoother. Um, which I probably will do at a later date, but I just can't find my sandpaper at the moment. So yeah, I would recommend just, just sanding down the edges so it's smooth. Okay, so the uh, Mod Podge has dried now, so it's all dried. So now I can add the ribbon. So I've just got some pink ribbon. And I'm just going to see how much I think I'll need. So there it is finished with the ribbon on so you can just hang it up on your wall like that so yeah, there it is the finished plaque okay so we're gonna try and make some salt dough because we want to make daddy a present for father's day don't we we want to do a handprint and footprint of Alice and Leo. So we're going to need some salt dough. So we're going to make it now. So all you need is flour, salt and water. So the first thing we need is one cup of salt. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's all poured in. So now we're going to mix it and hopefully it should make a dough. If it doesn't, we'll add some more flour. You do the mix. She loves mixing, don't you? Okay, so Alice has just gone down for her nap. So I'm now going to sort this out ready for when... I'd, I think I might do this one with Leo, so when Leo wakes up, I'll get his handprints and then it'll be ready for baking. I just need to roll this out. This is what it looks like when you cut it out. So obviously I just need Leo when he wakes up to press his hands into it. And I just need to take my straw and put two holes ready so, so the ribbon can go through it. Okay, so little Leo is awake. So we're gonna try and give his hand prints. Aren't we sweetie? So mommy needs your lovely hand, Leo. Leo, there you go. Oh, press, press, press. Good boy, there's one. This one. Here you go. Oh, no, 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 no. That one. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, so here are Leo's handprints. They cross over a bit, but that's fine. 
So I'm going to put two holes in it now and then bake it. Okay, so now I've got these prints. I'm just going to make the holes at the top for the ribbon. And then I'm just going to write his name and his age at the bottom. There we go, so that is ready to bake now. So I'm going to put this in the oven for about, because it's quite thin, I'm going to do it for about an hour, then I'll check on it. So yeah, it's going to go in the oven now. Okay, so I've baked the salt dough plaques now and they're all ready for painting. So I put these in the oven for about three hours on the lowest temperature. Don't make the mistake I did on the first batch, whereas I put it in, in at a high temperature and they all puffed up. So they need to be on a really low temperature for a long time to dry them out. So they're all done now. They're all nice and hard, so they're all ready for painting. So I'm just going to paint them with some acrylic paint. And then I'm just going to seal them with some Mod Podge. Okay, so I'm going to get started. Okay, so here are the plaques now they've been painted. So now I'm just going to seal them with some Mod Podge and then add the ribbon and they'll be done. Okay, so the Mod Podge has now dried on these and so I'm just gonna add the ribbon. So for this one, I'm gonna add some green ribbon. to be hung up on the wall so I'll just do the pink one now okay so here are our finished plaques with the ribbon on so they look really cute hung up now so yeah they're all done ready for daddy on father's day Okay, so that is all of our Father's Day crafts. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. I hope it's inspired you to do some of these crafts with your toddler. So yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.